So in this video, I'm going to talk about how this $100 part almost led to a catastrophic engine failure and shutdown in flight. So when I originally planned to do this video, I thought it was a fairly minor oil leak I was dealing with and it was going to be a pretty straightforward video on it. However, the more I kind of dug into things, I started to realize that there was a pretty big issue and I kind of narrowly averted what could have been an absolute disaster with this airplane. So I came into the airplane, right? Saw a little bit of an oil leak, not a big one. The plane had been sitting for about a week at that time. And it was kind of a small, slow drip, so I wasn't totally alarmed, but obviously you want to find out what's going on with the airplane. So, started, I got up underneath the airplane just to see if I could see where this leak was coming from. And it wasn't obvious where it was coming from. There was a little bit of oil in a couple different spots. So, I talked to the AMP a little bit about it to try to kind of track this down. I took the cowling off, kind of looked around to see if I could see somewhere obvious that it was coming out of, but there was, there was no real spot I could find where I could see it was, you know, oozing out or seeping out of maybe a seal or something like that. So we decided the best course of action was wash the engine down, let it dry out, and then go back and look and see if there was any more oil leak. So I did that. We got any oil that was sitting on anything out of there. So it was a nice, clean engine and everything looked good. I let the plane sit for a few days and I came back and there was a, still an oil leak in that same spot underneath. So I got my head back up under there and where I thought the oil leak was coming from initially, that seemed pretty much the right guess. The bottom of the engine, you've got an oil drain plug, just like you do in a car. Usually it's just a bolt that's screwed in there. You unscrew that bolt, all the oil comes out, like, like what happens when you do an oil change on your car. What a lot of people do on their airplanes is put in what's called a quick drain plug. The idea there is on the bottom of a car, it's really easy to get the oil out, right? Because that oil drain plug is right at the bottom. There's nothing under that. You screw that off, all the oil drains out. In an airplane, sometimes where that oil drain plug is may be above a lot of other things in the engine. And so you don't want to get oil all over the place and make a mess. So they came out with quick drain plugs which have a little bib on the bottom of it that you can put a small hose onto then you open that quick drain valve up with a twist and all that oil comes out of a hose that you can run down to a bucket and that's a nice clean way to change your oil. So lots of airplanes, including mine, had a quick drain plug put on the airplane. So saw that oil leak, um, washed the engine, let it sit, still saw a leak. I didn't see any oil coming off the engine anywhere. However, when I put my finger on the little bottom opening of that drain where the little bib comes out for the hose, it's a tiny bit of oil on my finger. That told me that the O-rings that were in there were probably leaking and letting just a tiny bit of oil come down and that was what was dripping out of the plane. So easy fix, right? Take that one off, put a new one on. And so that's what we did. I ordered the new oil drain, did a full oil change on the engine because it was about time to do that anyway, and then put the new one in there, tightened it all up, did an engine run, no oil leaks, everything looked great. But the one thing that I noticed when I was doing the oil change, the quick drain that was on mine, I was trying to push up on it, it wouldn't move. And so I got up in there and looked and actually the valve that I had you had to twist it to unlock it, then push it up, and then you could twist it and lock it in the open position. Well, when I was trying to twist it to open it up, to unlock it, um, it was very difficult. And there was a little bit of kind of scratching or marring on the bottom of this thing. And I thought that, well, maybe somebody had to put a wrench on it or something to kind of open it up the last time. But talking to my A&P, he said, you know, it almost looks like something's hitting that. So maybe the gear when it's coming up is bumping that. And looking back on it, I think that's exactly what was happening. The gear was coming up and bumping it. And while it did not open the valve, because again, it was in a locked position closed, um, I think it did enough damage that it started to weaken the O-rings in it. And that's what eventually led to the leak. 
So those oil drain plugs are listed based on the engine that you've got as to which one is the right size and the right type for your engine. So for this Lycoming IO360, there's one made by Safeair, which is the model P5000, uh, which is the correct quick drain plug to use on this engine. However, there was an airworthiness directive that came out in 1981 and it related specifically to the Piper Arrow. And it's because when the gear retracts, the nose gear, when that comes back up, there's some linkage that comes in very close proximity to where that oil drain is. And the quick drain plugs stick down just a little bit further than a normal oil plug would. And again, the way the, the drain works is you push up on it and then you can rotate it to lock in position and lock in that open position, let the oil come out. But as soon as you push up on it, it's opening a valve inside and that's letting the oil drain out. So the issue and the reason for the airworthiness directive is there were airplanes that had this oil drain installed, ran it on the ground, checked for oil leaks, no leaks, everything was great, took off. And as soon as they raised the gear, some linkage in there of the gear, bumps that oil drain plug and pushes it up. And now the drain is open. And so as soon as they retracted the gear with the engine running, under pressure, all that oil starts going out of that drain really fast. And what happened was exactly what you would think. Engine runs out of oil, catastrophic engine shut down in flight, and now you're landing off airport. And that led to several accidents. So Piper put out back in the early 80s a service letter to all owners to not use that quick drain on there and to only use one it was a very short oil drain plug right that only came down uh, I believe it was about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch so there was plenty of clearance so that that gear wouldn't impact it unfortunately that service letter while it went out to all the owners there were still issues happening where people didn't either see the service letter or didn't understand fully what it meant and so there was more issues with it uh, more incidents that occurred so then that led to the airworthiness directive that was put out in 1981. That airworthiness directive requires you to put what they call a Piper compliant drain plug on there if you're gonna use a quick drain. And then also some placards that will go up underneath to warn anyone else who might change that plug out that use of a non-compliant plug could lead to the, basically the engine draining in flight and the catastrophe that then follows. So when I bought this airplane, all the airworthiness directives had been complied with, as I pointed out before. And I went through all that to make sure all the boxes had been checked. I went back and looked, and when this engine was overhauled back in 2016, I verified in the parts list that the correct oil drain was put on this to comply with that airworthiness directive. So it's Safe Air Model F50 quick drain plug, specifically made for the Pipers and any other airplane that has gear or something that comes in close proximity to that quick drain. That was put on this airplane. So there shouldn't have been an issue. However, what I took off of here was not the model F50. So somewhere along the course of time between the last time I looked at where anything was noted about that drain plug was in 2019, somewhere between 2019 and present day, that oil drain was replaced with a new one. And whoever did it looked up the engine type, like homing, and saw the Model P5000, and that's the one that they put on there. Now, fortunately, the one that they put on mine, again, it locked in a closed position. So when I flew the airplane for the last couple of years, there had been no issue, no leaks of any kind, until again, those O-rings started getting kind of weak. However, what could have happened and what happened to a lot of people. If you go back and look, there's been several accidents that have occurred since the airworthiness directive came out, even in recent years. And they all have one thing in common. And that is that the airplane had gone through some type of maintenance or specifically a change out of that plug after usually an annual inspection or something like that. 
everything ran great on the ground, no leaks, everything was checked, everything was signed off, the owner took the airplane up and within a few minutes of departure, catastrophic engine failure in flight, off airport landing slash crash. So part of the airworthiness directive, in addition to having the correct drain plug put on the airplane, requires that there be two placards up underneath the airplane on the sides of the engine mount, which are directly on both sides of where the engine drain plug sits. And these red placards warn them to make sure they're using the right drain plug if they are to change out that drain plug. Now, I did notice on my airplane that even though my airworthiness directives had all been checked off and complied with years ago, those engine mounts had been repainted black. Those placards aren't visible anymore. And obviously somebody put the wrong drain plug in there at some point. The only thing that saved me from this airplane crashing somewhere as a result of an engine failure is the fact that the drain plug that was put in there locked in the in the closed position. Most of those do not. The P5000s that I found online, they don't lock in the down position and this is how it all came together. I went in, put in the new drain plug after we did the oil change and we had the conversations about, you know, wonder if something hit this on the way up. Well, as I put the new one in there, I screwed it in and then I pushed up on it and it, you know, kind of dawned on me that there's nothing to stop this from getting pushed up because this new one doesn't lock in the down position and I noted that the other one had locked in the down position. So I talked to my AMP about it a little bit and we both thought that was a little, sounded a little risky and a little strange given the close proximity to the gear. And so the thought process was to do a swing test on the gear and check that out. Well, before we even got to that point, he had a conversation with somebody else who, who remembered that airworthiness directive and said, no, that's not the right one. We've got to put a different one on that. So I went back and I looked in my log books and that's kind of when I discovered this whole path and exactly what that airworthiness directive talked about in detail and realized just how hazardous this could have turned out because with that new one that I put on there that did not lock in a down position, um, if we'd have flown this airplane um, within probably a couple minutes of me putting the gear up, uh, it would have dumped all the oil out of the airplane. So just want to caution anybody else that's out there, if you've got a Piper Arrow, that's something to keep your eye on. When you pick up your plane from a fresh annual or any other kind of maintenance, make sure that the correct drain plug is still installed on the airplane. And you can see here, I did a little video with the, the model F50 and how that drain plug works. And the bottom of it, where the oil is gonna come out, has a safety cap on the bottom of that. So to get the oil out, first step is removing this cap, but the oil still won't come out because you can see the top is plugged. So in order to get the oil to come out, it requires a second piece that comes with it. And when you screw this on, if you watch the top, as I continue to tighten it, the plug rises up out and opens up a hole to allow the oil to drain out the bottom now. So make sure you're using the right one. Uh, again, it's the Safe Air Model F50 is what is on this airplane and that seemed to take care of everything. The point of this video and the word of caution, even though your aircraft is in compliance with the airworthiness directive, at some point in the chain, it's possible for someone thinking they're putting the correct plug on here because Lycoming engine IO360C1C uses the P5000, but if that person does not pay close attention to the airworthiness directive specifically for a Piper Arrow, they could put that valve on there instead of the F50 valve made also by Safe Air. Um, and then what happens is you bring your gear up and all the oil dumps out of your airplane when you're flying. And of course that does not work out well. So my word to everyone who owns a Piper is if you have an annual inspection done or you have any engine maintenance done or anything like that, check that. 
So I guess, you know, the other takeaway from this is, you know, when you're looking over the airworthiness directives of your airplane, some airworthiness directives require a follow-up, you know, at certain intervals, you've got to recheck that airworthiness directive. This one does not. This is a one-time airworthiness directive, which is why it wasn't really on my radar to look deep into it. I knew it had been complied with when it was supposed to, and, and that was it. My opinion, this airworthiness directive should probably be something that's checked on every annual. Um, and if for no other reason than just to call out attention to whoever's working on the airplane, not to change that oil plug and put in the incorrect drain uh, inadvertently. So for me, it's something to check every annual inspection. Just make sure as you pull away, when you're doing that really robust pre-flight on your first flight after it coming out of annual, that's an item I would definitely call my attention to. Make sure that the drain plug that I've got installed now, which is the correct one, is still there and that my placards are still in good shape and very visible for anybody else doing future maintenance on it. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, really appreciate you taking the time to watch stuff on this channel. If you like all the content we have here, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. That really helps out and supports the channel. And if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, stick around for all the future content. Got some fun stuff coming up. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.